What's up everybody, how's it going? In this video, we are gonna talk about the very exciting topic of how to make money as a software engineer, and more specifically, how to make passive income, because passive income is all the rage these days. Now, before I jump into the eight ideas on how to make passive income as a software engineer, I do have a confession to make. You see, I lied to you. I clickbaited you with this video title, but you're gonna thank me. I clickbaited you in the sense that these eight ideas that I'm about to share with you aren't actually passive income ideas. They're more like active income ideas. Now, why are you gonna thank me for this clickbait? Well, number one, because it got you in this video, but number two, because I'm about to dispel a very important myth for you. If anyone out there tries to tell you that you can genuinely make passive income as a software engineer, they are most likely lying to you or have no idea what they're talking about. Let me explain as I go through these eight ideas. We'll start with the first way to make money as a software engineer. And please hear me out on this one because I know some of you are gonna be like, wait, Clement, this is not passive at all. What are you talking about? This is so obvious. Hear me out. The first idea is to just get a normal job as a software engineer. This is actually the easiest way to make money as a software engineer. It's also likely the highest EV, like expected value way of making money as a software engineer because there's very little risk and you're just very likely to make good money. You're gonna be paid a lot. And there is actually a little bit of passive income from just getting a job in the sense that by getting a job, over time, you will naturally get better at software engineering. You will naturally get promoted, which means that you will command much greater income as you get promoted. And that means that in the future, you might be making triple, quadruple, quintuple the amount of money that you would make right now for the same amount of work, of actual time spent on the job. And therefore, there is a component of passive income in getting a normal job if you think about it that way. So that's the first way to make money. Take it or leave it. Now let's jump into the second way to make money as a software engineer, and that is to launch your own business, probably with some tech component if you're a software engineer. So this is something that I did. As many of you know, I launched my own company, Algo Expert. By the way, if you're a software engineer preparing for your technical interviews, do check out my company, Algo Expert. Go to algoexpert.io and use the promo code CLEM for a discount on the platform. And so the cool thing about launching your own company is that it is probably the best way to make the most amount of money. However, that comes with two big caveats. Number one, it's not at all guaranteed. It's probably very likely that you will fail at launching your own company and, and succeeding at it. And I'm not saying this to, to downplay your efforts or your abilities, it's just statistically the truth. But then second of all, it is the opposite of passive income. There's nothing passive about launching your own company. I've been working on Algo Expert for almost six years now, and I can tell you that the first five years had nothing passive about them. It was only active work, active income, working 24 seven. And now admittedly, now that the company has reached a, a certain level of success, a certain level of maturity, I have been able to reap the, the fruits of my labor a little bit over the last 10 months or so. I've been able to kind of really like decompress and relax. But even so, I still have this constant burden of, I am responsible for this company. If something goes bad, it's on me. I shoulder that responsibility. And that makes it really not passive at the end of the day. It's still very much active. A little bit different than just having a full-time job where you truly must work every single day. Like now I'm able to not work every single day and I'm still able to make passive money from that point of view. But overall at a macro level, still active and during the beginning, extremely active. Okay, okay, you really wanna hear a passive income idea. Okay. Third idea, this one is a little bit more passive. It's launch a YouTube channel. Now, again, unfortunately, I must give you the brutal truth, which is that launching and growing a YouTube channel is actually not that passive. It's actually very active. It takes a lot of work to grow a YouTube channel into something that actually makes you a lot of money. For example, my channel took me 
quite a lot of work and time and effort to grow to 50,000, 100,000, 200,000 subscribers, and now 500 or almost 500,000. During the first couple of years on YouTube, I was posting three videos a week. That takes a huge amount of work. If you've never done it, trust me, it takes a huge amount of work. And at the beginning, you're not making any money. And because you need to put in all this work and you need to consistently put in that work, it's just not that passive. Admittedly, once you reach a certain threshold, you start to have older videos that you truly never have to work on again because they're just there on YouTube, and they consistently bring in views, which therefore consistently brings in income, and that is admittedly passive. But you have to realize that the work to get those videos up and successful in the first place is super active, and if you really want to sustain this over a long period of time, you have to keep pumping out videos. Even what I'm doing right now here filming this video, this is very much active work. That being said, of all the ideas that I'm sharing here in this video, I do think that starting a YouTube channel is the one that maybe has the most potential for passive income, you know, once you reach a certain threshold. Idea number four is actually very similar to starting a YouTube channel, but with one kind of big difference. It's uh, launching a newsletter, a tech newsletter. And uh, this is something that, you know, is very similar to YouTube. You have to grow an audience. You have to put in a ton of work, especially at the beginning, to grow that audience. But the main difference with YouTube is that, as far as I know, it is actually less passive income than YouTube, in the sense that with YouTube, once you have a video up, it is on YouTube permanently, unless you choose to take it down. And so it will truly generate revenue forever so long as it gets views. Whereas a newsletter, you will only make money so long as you have subscribers. And the second that you stop pumping out you know, consistent content, well, you're gonna lose subscribers. At least that's how I presume that it works. And so therefore, I think that it's a lot more active work and active income. Still a great way to make money, you know, side money or main, you know, full-time money, but not passive income. Idea number five, this one actually also has a lot of potential for, for truly leading to passive income, like the YouTube channel, but still takes a lot of work and effort at the beginning. And it's the idea of launching some sort of like small one-time product, whether it be an app on your phone or a Chrome extension, or maybe a simple SaaS product that doesn't require a lot of maintenance. And having that basically be, you know, a huge upfront investment of time and effort, and then kind of perpetual money from that. Now, the problem with this idea is that it's very hard to actually do that. Like, it's very hard to create, you know, the next Flappy Bird that's going to make millions of dollars on the App Store and then you don't have to do anything once you've launched it. Or, you know, the next, I don't know, whatever Chrome extension is super easy to make and generates a ton of revenue. Most of these things ultimately require, like, a lot of effort even to maintain or they just will never take off and never make you a lot of money. But it is still an option, perhaps an option that you would want to consider to make money on the side or as your primary gig. Now, the sixth idea to make money as a software engineer, this one is another one that actually does have potential to be truly passive income. It's to create a course. So some sort of educational content uh, in tech, in software engineering. Now, here I do want to specify when I say a course, I mean truly just a course, something fairly simple, likely hosted on a website like Teachable, so it's just video content that you create once, so big upfront investment of time and effort, and then you never have to maintain it again. I'm not talking about something like my company AlgoExpert. AlgoExpert, some people think that it's just a course. No, AlgoExpert is a platform. There's tons of work that goes into Algo Expert to maintain it, to have all the functionality that we have on the platform. You know, there's tons of engineering, marketing, blah, blah. It's not, you know, just a course that you create once and that then you're done, you never have to work on it again. So if you do do just a course that has the potential for that passive income, the only caveat is that 
it's going to be very difficult to actually get people to buy your course unless you have a lot of reach or a lot of you know, big audience. So kind of go back to point number three or four, create a YouTube channel or a newsletter and grow an audience and then sell them a course. And then the other problem with creating a course is that the industry is very saturated. Like for example, let's say you want to create a React course, learn React or learn you know, Golang. There's a lot of content on how to learn Golang or how to learn React. There are a lot of courses, there are a lot of platforms, like much more developed platforms, like Programming Expert, our company that teaches you, you know, how to code in Python and gives you a platform where you can run code and all that. So it's very difficult to actually successfully launch such a course, but it's an idea, especially if you have a lot of niche experience or expertise that isn't covered in other courses out there. That's for you to know and for the rest of us to find out, I guess, once you create your next big course. Idea number seven, seven is to do consulting. Now I will say this is not something that I have any experience in, and it's also not something that strikes me as passive at all, probably the least passive because First of all, you have to consistently do the consulting work. You have to consistently be hired as a consultant, as a tech consultant. But also with consulting, you are literally selling your time. Like your time is your service, your time and your experience. So you cannot just like at least create some sort of product that requires maintenance, but that at least, you know, creates money while you're sleeping. Here you actually have to be, you know, in the room or on the Zoom call with people giving them consulting advice. Still worth, you know, sharing as an idea and perhaps you want to go down the route of actually having a team, creating a consulting agency, but then you're really creating a business. Anyway, still thought I'd mention that. And now we arrive at the eighth and final idea, last but not least. This one is not going to be passive, unfortunately. It is just to do contract work or freelance work. Again, something that I've never done, so I don't really have the experience there, but I know that a lot of people do it, and it's just worth mentioning. It's certainly something that you can do on the side, something that can give you supplemental income, just not really passive. And of course, the better you get at it, the more experience you have, and you know this goes back to getting a real job and getting promoted and all that, the more you can charge on this, or the quicker you can complete projects, and therefore, depending on how you view it, the more you increase your passive income in the sense of, you know, I command more dollars per hour than I used to for the same amount of work. So that's idea number eight. That wraps up my eight ideas. I know, I know, perhaps I made some of you sad telling you that there is no true passive income. It's genuinely, there just isn't. If there were, I think everybody would be doing it. But some of these ideas do have the potential to lead to some sort of passive income, you know, with a lot of active work at the beginning and then maybe progressively less active work. Let me know what you thought about them in the comments below. Let me know if I missed something. I tried to think long and hard whether or not I missed like a ninth or 10th option. I genuinely don't think I did. Let me know in the comments if I did. Let us all know. It can help everybody reading the comments. Don't forget to smash the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter if you enjoy short-form written content. Instagram if you like pictures. And I will see you in the next video.